created a small PCB Christmas forest which is going to light up my study table this Christmas. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to design these PCBs and assemble them to create a small PCB Christmas forest. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. To start the designing process, I need some transparent PNG images for the Christmas tree, star, snowflake, candy cane etc. So I went online and did an image search and downloaded a few black and white images of all the items that I need to design these PCBs. Using the good old MS Paint, I edited all these PNG files. I removed the rounded base and made the base flat so that it easily sits on the base plate. Then I removed a small portion from the bottom to expose a bit of copper. Pouring a blob of solder on these plates will hold the PCB nice and tight from the front side of the base plate. In my design, I have three different sizes of the trees. If you look closely, they are all extracted from the same tree by removing the bottom layer each time and hence generating a new size of the tree. For the customized shape of PCBs, we need to generate DXF files to set the border outlines. I'm using the paint.net application to fill in the white spaces of the trees as I only need the borders and nothing else from the original images. Then I uploaded the images to convert.io.co and generated the DXF files. The website allows 10 free conversions in a day unless you have a paid account with them. Now let's add a new PCB to our project and remove the default board outlines. Then import the DXF file via file import DXF menu. Make sure you have the board outline selected under the layers when you import the DXF file. Now let's import the image that will go on the top of the top silk layer. Put the image over the board outline and move it to the top silk layer. Then let's go ahead and decorate our tree. Once all set, let's hide the top silk layer so that we can work on the rest of the items. Using the rectangle tool from the PCB tools plate, I added a rectangle to the bottom of the PCB. I exposed the copper so that I can use this to hold the tree on the base plate by pouring a blob of solder on it. Next, I randomly added few LEDs here and there at the bottom side of the board. Then I added few exposed copper rectangles at the back side of the board and connected them to the LEDs. Remember, this is just an example. The attached Gerber is totally different from what you see on screen. So this is how the tree looks like in 3D. Now to create the base plate, we again need to add a new PCB to our project and remove the default board outlines. Then go to tools, set border outline and select the round rectangular from the type selection. Specify the height, width and the radius of the edge and hit the apply button. Then go ahead and add the rest of the components one by one either to the top layer or to the bottom layer of the board and connect them using wires. I grabbed the back and the front exposed rectangles from the tree and added them to the base plate. This way the spacing will remain intact when we solder the trees on the base plate. That's it, easy as that. Now just go ahead and download your Gerber file and send it for fabrication. So this is how my base plate looks like. Bit complex but it has the exact same logic that I just showed you guys. Once I had my design ready, I just had to upload the Gerber files to the PCBWay's website and then select the type, color and any other customization that I want and then send it for fabrication. For my project, I chose the black, red and green colors. The code I wrote is very simple. I have just turned on and off the LEDs after a 500 millisecond delay. The top white LED turns on and off in the opposite order to the rest of the LEDs. This code is just an example. You can write all sort of funky stuff and load it to your Arduino board. 
I tested my code on a breadboard before soldering the LEDs to the board. I wanted to see if the Arduino Nano can handle that many LEDs at once and I also wanted to check if my combining different color LEDs on a same pin of Arduino will have any adverse effect. The result was pretty promising. I was able to hook up three LEDs without any issues to all the digital pins except D13 and analog pins of the Arduino. I was not able to combine yellow and orange LEDs with any other color on the same pin of the Arduino. So this is what came in the mail bag. Have a look at the quality. It's absolutely mind blowing. Based on my design, the black one will stay at the back, the green one on the right and the red one on the left hand side of the base plate. Please make sure when you solder the trees, solder the small red one first, then the green one and finally the black one at the back. This way you will be able to solder them very easily without going over and under the trees. Now let's start soldering. Let's start by soldering the LEDs on the trees. Since the front side of the plate has all the decorations on it, I placed all the component markings at the back side of the plate. I then one by one soldered all the LEDs on the front side of the plate. Please be careful while adding the colors. As mentioned earlier, you cannot hook up yellow and orange with any other color on the same pin of an Arduino. Please follow my final coloring pattern. Now let's get the base plate sorted. Let's start by soldering all the resistances to the board. Then let's solder two female pin headers to the board. These pin headers will house the Arduino microcontroller in it. After that, let's solder the two pin micro USB port to the board. Next, it's time to solder the trees on the board. With lots of flux and a very little solder, this is what I ended up creating. Since a lot of these LEDs were getting hidden behind the trees, I ended up removing a lot from the final version. Just follow the on-screen color pattern and you will have a small Christmas forest sitting on your table in less than 30 minutes. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.